myself and my sister uh, than for their own. Um, after this event, we had the Mitsubishi, uh, I forgot what time car it was, like the Mitsubishi right on the, it was stolen that night. Um, and my parents decided that they needed to move, up, move us out of the Bronx. Um, and we didn't have the means to do it, but my parents tried to find every way to be able to do so. I can understand the anger of those in that. I really do. As a black male, I've been harassed here in New Haven many, many, many times. I've had friends, Todd Bloats, my best friend here at Yale, um, who've been held at gunpoint. Um, and there are times in which, yeah, like, as someone who like, faces a new situation, I just feel safe to call the police. Or if I do find myself needing to call them, I don't feel perfectly comfortable. But there's another side of me that always thinks about that night when I was a six year old, and thinks about the hundreds of kids. Black kids, brown kids, killed by guns and violence every year in major cities. 240 people have been killed in Chicago last year alone, earning it the name of Chirac. 200, about 200 killed in Los Angeles. I think there's a very real sense in which, yes, the police today need to be reformed. There's no question about it. Um, I mean, especially as, as someone who is interested in politics, I was extremely upset um, when the NYPD turned their backs on Mayor de Blasio um, and the funeral going to Rome. Um, I think that, but, but even that being said, I think we can't neglect the importance that police play um, for the safety um, of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of lives, um, especially of poor and lower income people. In the inner city. I think more importantly, if we're going to say that any group of people are not deserving of status of, of heroics, then I think that we're left with a society without any sort of inspirational figures. Um, I think we ascribe the status of heroes to those people who, to the ideas that we think that people should hold themselves up to. Um, and as someone growing up who's read the works of Angela Davis, I don't condemn someone like Angela Davis and the work and the fight that she fought for African Americans in this country because of the actions of someone like Jonathan Jackson. All right. And I don't condemn someone like Malcolm X because of the actions of some of the people in the nation of Islam. Um, or Martin Luther King for the actions of the civil rights movement. And this will be my last thing. Um, I think the police can be better. I think the police should be better. Um, I think that there are bad police. There are many bad police. And I think the institution needs to be reformed. But I think that there are many good police who enter the force because they really do believe that there needs to be uh, protection for people, um, the vast majority of people who are plagued by violence and crime on a daily basis. 